Welcome to the Autism's lesson for building apps using Silk UI templates and patterns. In this lesson, we start by doing a quick overview of Silk UI Mobile, and then show you an example of how you can quickly build a very simple app using Silk UI templates and patterns. The Silk UI framework leverages front-end technologies addressing common tasks for both mobile and web application development. Within the framework, there are beautifully crafted templates with different layouts to make your application look amazing in phones, tablets, or both. The Silky White team also prepared a whole set of reusable UI patterns that cover the most common use cases. They come in the form of blocks with a few configuration parameters that you can just drag and drop to your screen. Finally, there are several sample screens that will help getting you started and to provide inspiration. By using Silk UI Mobile Framework, developers will drag and drop visual UI patterns rather than writing CSS, thereby accelerating mobile app development. Our demo using Silk UI is a simple task management app. This app is a mobile application meant for small screens, but adaptable to tablets, and is therefore based on Silk UI's phone template, which has these features. It takes advantage of the calendar and search Silk UI patterns specifically. This demo app is limited to two screens, one to display the list of tasks and one to create new tasks. Let us begin. So let's begin by creating a new application. It's going to be a mobile app and based on the phone template. I'm going to name it Simple Task Manager and select green color. The default module name and type are fine, so I just hit Create Module. Here we go, we have our initial module right here with a home screen. This is going to list all my tasks, so I'm going to name it Tasks, make it anonymous, and add a corresponding title. I need to store data somewhere, so I'm going to create a task entity that's going to hold title, description, and due date. So I'm going to drag the task entity over to my screen, and this scaffolds a list of tasks. The description is not something I think should be here, so I just delete it. Now I'm going to add an icon to the header to allow me to go into a new screen where I'll add new tasks. This should have a plus icon. And of course, I need a link to make it tappable so that the user can tap on it. The new screen has been created. I'm going to call it New Task. Make it anonymous as well and add the corresponding title. I'm going to scaffold this new screen as well, but it's going to have a form. So I drag the form first before dragging the entity onto the form. And this way I have a form for my entity. But it has this date that I don't like. So let's go over to the Silk UI website, Patterns. Let's look at the mobile patterns that are available. And let's see if we find some other calendar widget that we can use. And we do find it. It looks really good. So let's use that on our app. I'm going to delete the input for the date, search for calendar, and drag calendar onto the proper spot on my application. And I'm going to do a couple of fixes to the label and calendar itself. I also need to create an action that runs when the user selects a date on the calendar pattern. This simply needs to copy the date that was selected onto my data of the form. So the data is in the aggregate and it's the due date. And the date I want to copy there is the start date of the calendar. Let's go back. Almost done. We have an error in our button because it doesn't have an on click action. So we create a new action that creates a new record or changes an existing record. I also want the button not to stay on the same screen, but to go back to the list of tasks when it's done. 
And that's it. That's my new task screen. Back in tasks, I'm going to add the functionality of making a task done by swiping left. I select the list item, add a swipe left action, and name it done. I need to create an action that runs when the user swipes left. And this one simply deletes the task. However, because I'm going to stay on the same screen, I need to refresh the data and I'll keep the end node this time. What else could I add? Maybe I could add a search. Let's see if I have a search. And I do have a search pattern. It looks pretty good. So let's use it on our app. I'm going to search for search. Drag it to the proper spot. And now what the user types needs to be held in a new variable. So I just create it. It's been called text var. And now whenever this changes, I'm going to add a new client action that will simply refresh the data that holds the list of tasks. That means that the aggregate that gets that data needs to have a new filter. And the filter is when the title is like anything followed by the search text variable followed by anything. And that should be my search. Let's try this out. The application loads and I don't have any tasks, so I'll create one. Do laundry. I'm going to do my pants. And it's due on the 9th. I'm going to add a new task called plumber. The pipes are broken. And it's due two weeks from now. Both tasks are there. Let's search. And you can see the list instantly responding to my searches. And if I swipe left, it goes away. Perfect. That's it.